Hey guys, welcome to the Solar Sistar channel. It's your girl, Solar Sistar, coming to you once again with a video. Hopefully this one will be informative for you. If you see the topic of the video, it says, so you decided to repatriate, now what? So I'm gonna talk to you about five things that um, I, kind of a process that I went through and I've narrowed it down to these five things, but I think what this um, topic is going to be, um, it's gonna be like a little series. Um, so I'm going to, you know, add some things as I'm learning more and more about this process. So I hope this will help you um, as you move forward with your decision. So before we move forward, let's go ahead and take care of some housekeeping things. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and thumbs up the video and also hit the share button if you'd like to share it with any of your friends, family, frenemies, enemies, whoever. Um, also, feel free to hit the notification bell if you'd like to be made aware of any upcoming videos that I upload. So with all that being said and all the housekeeping things taken care of, guys, let's go ahead and jump on into this topic. So you decided to repatriate. Now what? Number one, make sure that you know your why. Um, once I made the decision to repatriate, I had to be very solid in my reason for wanting to do so. I had to understand my reason for wanting to do so. Um, I had to check my motivation, uh, my motivations for wanting to, to make this bold move. Um, I also had to check my intentions. What do I intend to do once I get there? Um, also, I had to make sure that I was being realistic about the expectations that I've set for myself and also set for the country that I'm planning to repatriate to. So those are three things that I would suggest that you do. Check your motivations when, you're making your, when you're making your decision, check your intentions, and also check your expectations. Let's move on to number two, guard your decision. Once you've made the decision to repatriate, make sure that you let that thing marinate in your spirit, in your soul, in your psyche, before you share it and release it, you know, in the atmosphere. Before you share it with, you know, friends, families, friends, frenemies, whomever, make sure that you're solid in your decision. Because sometimes, even when people love us, you know, and they have great intentions, a lot of times people will project their fears and insecurities onto you uh, when you share something with them. And if you're not solid in your decision, whatever they say, if it's something that's negative, it could dampen your spirits. It could make you second guess your decision. It could make you vacillate between, oh, should I go? Should I stay? Should I not? Should I? So make sure that you're solid so that whatever anybody says doesn't knock you off of your square, doesn't make you change your course. It just, you know, you can just take it in and accept whatever they've said, check it off and move on. So number three, weed out what you need from what you want. Now, if you're a person who's comfortable, um, you have, um, you're comfortable with certain things that you can only get living in the West, living in the U.S. Um, there's a lot some lifestyles, even if we might not be doing the very, very best, there's still a lot of things that we may be used to, you know, that you won't be able to have in your country of repatriation. So you have to figure out what things are necessary for you. Um, the, because once you figure out what's necessary for you, that will help you make the decision on what country fits your needs, what's suitable for you. Um, and also, you know, make sure that you, when you're going through the things that you um, have, the things that your materialistic goods or whatever that you have, and you're having to weed through what you're planning on taking, what you're going to leave, make sure you know what's a necessity and what is a want. I had to actually have a, a, a conversation with myself. I was actually having a debate with myself. I had to go through one of my storage units. Well, my only storage unit, but it was a storage unit that I've had for three years because I had to get it once I moved back home um, to care for my father. So I, I've had that storage unit for about three years. So that means I haven't seen that stuff in three years. So if I hadn't seen it in three years, that means I haven't used it in three years. So do I really need it? Okay. So I went through the storage containers and <laughs> there was actually one storage container that had a bunch of my high school yearbooks. <laughs> my high school yearbook, just a bunch of memorabilia. And so I had to have a debate with myself on whether or not I wanted to keep these high school yearbooks. And I had to say, girl, is you really gonna need 
your high school yearbooks from the 80s is you're going to need your second grade report card. Okay, so I finally, had, after I went round and round with myself, I had to realize I don't need those things. They were just feel good things to have. I hadn't looked at that stuff, y'all, in three years. And before that, who knows how long it had been before I had looked at that stuff. So needless to say, that stuff is in the trash. I still have the memories. I don't need to carry the, the junk with me. So that was number three. Number four, and oh, and also going back to number three, um, if you don't think that there are things that you can give up from the West, you may want to just vacation as opposed to doing the repatriation. Vacation as opposed to repatriation because there's a different kind of lifestyle you're going to be leading when you're not, or a lifestyle you're going to be living when you're not going there as a tourist. You're going there to live. So that's something for you to think about. So number four, prepare yourself physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, um, make sure that you're getting as fit and healthy as you possibly can um, as you're preparing to make this transition. Also, get any checkups, you know, or physicals or anything that you can get, you know, before you leave. Um, you know, get your eyes, your teeth, all that stuff taken care of before you leave. Um, and also start um, getting out into nature, you know, if you can. Walk you know, drink, you know, water, try to weed, you know, unnecessary things out of your diet, cut out all the processed food, cut out all the junk food so that you can get to a place where you're living a healthier lifestyle. You want to be as fit as you possibly can once you get to your country of repatriation. Also, number five, and this is the last one, be okay with not knowing it all. This is going to be a life-changing shift, y'all. So, there are going to be some things that you can control because you know you're you're working from a position that you you know a place that you're comfortable with. You're leaving a place that you know how things roll to go to a place that you've never been. In most cases, you know most people have never been, or if you've been there before, you at least have some idea of what you're going to. But it's still totally different from vacationing to living there as you know for, you know, completely or permanently. So go ahead and start trying to release some of those things that you feel like you have control over, you have to have control over, and just be okay, you know, with not knowing everything. Um, also, try to be as fluid as you possibly can so that you can go with the flow because there, there are going to be hurdles, you know, things are not going to be handled, you know, in, a, in the way, you know, things would be handled in the West, you know, and, and that may be a good thing. You know, some things may be a lot better, you know, in the place that you're going, you know. So with that being said, get to a place where even if challenge, challenges and hurdles pop up, get to a place where you can not look at them as setbacks, but just kind of look at them as um, life lessons or, you know, just lessons teachable moments, you know, because maybe somebody else may go through the same thing that you, you know, you've gone through and you can help them, you know, process um, the situation if it happens to them. So look, those are the five things that I've come up with for the first video in this series. So you decided to repatriate. Now what? So number one, let's go back and recap. Know your why. Number two, guard your decision. Number three, weed out what you need from what you want. And number four, prepare yourself physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. And number five, be okay with not knowing it all. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video right here, guys. Again, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up button, hit the notification bell so that you can be made aware of upcoming videos. And also feel free to share this video with anyone who you think this might be helpful for. So, guys, have a great rest of your day. And if you can't do anything else, guys, please be sure to protect your head space, protect your heart space, and keep your vibration high. Once again, it's your girl, Solar Sis Star, signing off. Y'all have a great one. Bye.